creatine benefits and side effects that you need to know. Welcome back viewers. So, what is all the hype about creatine? Well, creatine is a nitrogenous natural acid that helps supply energy to cells throughout the body, particularly muscle cells. It occurs naturally in red meat and fish, it is also made by the body, and it can likewise be obtained from supplements. Creatine, and supplements containing creatine, is big business. People in the US are believed to spend some $2.7 billion a year on sports supplements, most of which include creatine. Supplements are used by athletes to enhance their performance, by older adults to increase muscle mass, and to treat problems that result when a body cannot fully metabolize creatine. Some evidence recommends that creatine might prevent skin aging, help with exercising, treat muscle illness, help individuals with multiple sclerosis, boost cognitive ability, and more. However, additional proof is needed to confirm these uses. Now, if you are short on time, and do not have time to watch the whole video, then just click the timestamp topic in the description that you are interested in. Otherwise, keep watching for some really awesome info. Now, here's some trivia for you, about how long does it take for creatine to work in most people? We will give you the answer at the end of the video. If you like our info so far, then please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay informed. So, exactly what is creatine? Well, creatine is composed of three amino acids, L-arginine, glycine, and L-methionine. It makes up about 1% of the overall volume of human blood. Around 95% of creatine in the body is stored in skeletal muscle, and 5% is in the brain. Between 1.5 and 2% of the body's creatine is transformed for use every day by the liver, the kidneys, and the pancreas. It is transferred through the blood, and used by parts of the body that have high energy demands, such as skeletal muscle and the brain. Different kinds of creatine are utilized in supplements, consisting of creatine monohydrate and creatine nitrate. However, please note, that at the time of this video production, no creatine supplement has yet been authorized for use by the United States Food and Drug Administration. Creatine Sources and Needs Creatine food sources include red meat and fish. One pound of raw beef or salmon supplies 1 to 2 grams of creatine. It is likewise the most common supplement found in sports nutrition supplements, including sports drinks. A person needs between 1 and 3 grams of creatine a day. Around half of this comes from what you eat, and the rest is synthesized, or made, by the body. People who cannot synthesize creatine because of a health condition, may need to take 10 to 30 grams of a creatine supplement a day to avoid illness. Creatine Users Creatine is one of the most popular supplements in the US, especially amongst males who participate in football, baseball, basketball, ice hockey, lacrosse, and wrestling. Creatine can supply energy to parts of the body where it is required. Athletes use supplements to increase energy production, enhance athletic performance, and to permit them to train harder. According to the International Society of Sports Nutrition, larger athletes who train intensely, may need to consume between 5 and 10 grams of creatine a day to maintain their appropriate level of creatine. Creatine improves athletic performance. Athletes frequently take creatine supplements, due to the fact that there is some evidence that it works to enhance high-intensity training. The concept is that creatine allows the body to produce more energy. With more energy, athletes can work harder and accomplish more. For some individuals in some types of workouts and exercises, enhancing the body's creatine level appears to boost performance. Creatine increases body mass. Increased amounts of creatine in muscles have been associated with greater body mass. However, according to the US National Library of Medicine, creatine does not build muscle. The boost in body mass happens due to the fact that creatine causes the muscles to hold water. It is also possible that muscle mass develops as a result of working harder during exercise. Creatine used for repairing body damage after injury. Research study suggests that creatine supplements may help prevent muscle damage, and boost the recovery process after an athlete has experienced an injury. Creatine might also have an antioxidant effect after an intense session of resistance training, and it might help in reducing cramping. Also, it might have a role in rehabilitation for brain and other injuries. Creatine Safety and Side Effects At recommended dose amounts, 
creatine is considered to be lightly safe to consume. In high doses, it is possibly safe. But, some doctors say that high doses of it could affect the liver, kidneys, or the heart. Although, these effects have actually not been proven. Other possible side effects consist of muscle cramping, stomach pain, nausea, and diarrhea. Individuals with kidney disease are advised not to use creatine, and caution is suggested for those with diabetes, and for anyone taking blood glucose supplements. The safety of creatine supplements has actually not been confirmed during pregnancy or breastfeeding. So, women are recommended to not take it at these times. Use of creatine can also lead to weight gain. While this might be primarily due to water, it can have a negative impact on professional athletes aiming to compete at particular weight classifications. In general, creatine, when utilized properly, appears to be reasonably safe. But, as we said earlier, the United States Food and Drug Administration has not yet authorized it as safe and efficient. However, at the time of this video production, creatine is currently allowed by the International Olympic Committee and National Collegiate Athletic Association, that is, the NCAA. Always use wisdom when taking creatine. And, if needed, talk to your doctor about any specific health issues that you may have before starting to take creatine or any supplement. Now, here's your trivia answer, creatine does not instantaneously work in the body upon taking it. Rather, it takes a while to saturate the muscle cells, where it is stored for future use. It typically takes a week or so before you see any more strength to do the third set of squats. However, athletes with more fast twitch muscle fibers, like sprinters and power lifters, often respond more quickly. Also, the more lean muscle mass you have, the better your response will be. If this video has helped you, then share a comment about it below. And also, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and check out some of our other great health and fitness videos shown here.